Lodge is back in its original living room. We'll explain how that happened coming up. But first tonight, her exploits read more like a Hollywood plot line, the so-called serial stowaway sneaking on planes around the country without a ticket. And now she's allegedly added the Twin Cities to her itinerary. Fox 9's Tom Lydon is live at MSP for us tonight, where, Tom, there are some serious questions about just how much the Twin Cities played into her ticketless trip. Yeah, a spokesperson for TSA, Randy, is urging the media not to jump to any conclusions. Consider most of the information we have on this latest incident actually comes from the suspect. And right now, they're looking at surveillance video here at the airport to decide if her journey began here, like she says, or whether it was just a connecting flight through MSP. One thing is for sure, she's got a history of hitching a ride. Marilyn Hartman's a frequent flyer with a collection of mugshots to show for it. The 63-year-old finding a way to slip by security over and over, always promising never again. It was clearly wrong on my part, and I certainly don't want to do it again. But that was before her latest excursion on Sunday. Hartman claiming she took a flight from MSP to Jacksonville, Florida, without a ticket or boarding pass. Once in Florida, she bluffed her way to a fancy resort. The driver uh, asked if her name was Maria, and she just said yes. And he says, well, this is your bus to go to Omni Plantation. She was arrested after spending the night in a $300 room. This year alone, the serial stowaway has snuck aboard flights in San Francisco, San Jose, Los Angeles, and Phoenix. When she was caught in Phoenix six months ago, she even gave a bizarre news conference. And my question is, why has the government allowed me to get past security points? So why is the government allowing that to happen, portraying me as a um, potential threat? So you may be wondering how Marilyn Hartman does this. Well, she told San Jose Airport Police she waits for a big group to come along, traveling together. And then she goes up and she sort of blends in with them as she's going through the checkpoint. And kind of, like these people almost did, slip right by them. And then she does the same thing at the gate. That's the same M.O. as the nine-year-old stowaway who two years ago boarded a flight from Minneapolis to Las Vegas. And Fox 9 has told you about recent security breaches and baggage claim where passengers ducked out for a cigarette and walked right back through the exits, right past distracted TSA agents. That's unbelievable. Makes you wonder what we're paying for, doesn't it? Yes, a little it bit? does. Yes. It is bizarre that somebody can slip through the cracks like that. I'm going to um, pray. I'm going to pray is what I'm going to do. All right, well, best, best of luck to you. Hartman admits to suffering from depression and says she's homeless with no family. Her only real home appears to be airports, where she's become too familiar for comfort. Hartman is in a Florida jail tonight, charged with trespassing just for that instant at the resort, not having anything to do with aviation security. You may be wondering how she's out of jail in the first place. It's always something. In San Francisco, she walked away from a mental health facility. In L.A., she was released because of jail overcrowding. Mm -hmm. Say this, she is persistent. And tonight, a California congressman is calling for hearings in Washington about why she's been able to do this so many times. Live at MSP, Tom Lydon, Fox 9 News. All right, Tom, thank you. Last week, a jury ruled that Toyota's faulty brakes were partially to blame for a deadly St. Paul crash back in 2006.